Hello everyone, um, in this video I want to try to walk you through the process of the illustration that is showing on screen right now. My first step was the idea. I got it from an old sketchbook of mine and it was a really rough sketch. So I went ahead and took it to Procreate. I focus on trying to get down the idea the best I could. First was her pose, as the original one didn't feel right anymore and I just couldn't make it work. <laughs> so I ended up changing it and make the pose look more comfortable while she's standing there. While drawing, I make sure that I like the comp of the illustration with the size of the figure in relationship with the window at her back and later on with the stars as well. Um, the last thing I think that I have to mention at this stage is basically uh, the color palette. I had an idea of what her colors were, but I need them to work with the background colors. On the first test, the background was more blue, and I tried putting a moon behind her, but after talking to a friend, it got scrapped. As the theme was galaxy, not night sky. So the blue hue got replaced by a more purple hue to evoke um, the galaxy that I wanted for this piece. <laughs> With all this in place, I got a plan, so I went ahead and transferred the drawing into my painting surface. While painting, the first thing I tackled was the background by laying down a really watered down version of Juanacroton Magenta. So I taint the weight of the paper with a really pastel pink color. Same as the digital version where the white stripe it's a really pastel pink Once having the first layer dry, I went uh, with the darker tones, so less water and more paint. Um, I used Juanacron Machenta, the Access in Violet and Indigo, and I tried to preserve uh, the lighter parts for the galaxy. Uh, with paper towel and lifting the parts that needed to be lift lifted. So in this part I just let the colors run into each other and let them do their pretty watercolor textures on different sections of the window and I just love doing this part. I think it was a lot of fun. <laughs>
next I move on to paint the witch herself starting with um, her skin I wanted a cool skin tone so I mixed that trying to rely more on the green I use for mixing skin tone and then shaded it uh, with the magenta color or if for I needed a even cooler shadow I use dioxazine violet for the hair I used paint left from painting the galaxy um, I kept uh, the tones quite light so it would read as white hair You'll see how I jump from element to element. I do this so I don't overwork the paint while it's wet. Uh, sometimes I can be a little impatient about the drying time, but yeah, you have to remind yourself that you need to wait and let the paint dry so you can see what you're working with. In the case of the pants, I decided to do a first layer uh, with a more watered-down version of the color I, I mix, and then afterwards I went in with a more um, paint concentrate mixture. Having into account um, the lighter sections that I wanted to preserve for the pants. For her hat and her t-shirt, I just mixed my black using colors that were already on my palette at this point. It didn't have that much thought put into it, to be honest. In addition, I used the same black color to paint the sleeves, but I watered down the color so it would be more transparent because the leaves have that transparent look. From here I just try to organize and give form with shadows and light work to all the elements on her upper body to make it easier to read. Something a little bit off topic of the illustration or maybe not, 
but it's about the character um, on her original design she had these stars on her sleeve but um, I didn't paint them so they wouldn't compete with the stars of the galaxy that it's at her back but what if uh, she's projecting this um, galaxy and for doing it so she used the stars that were on her cloth like I think that would be really cute <laughs> though I don't know what um, I don't know what use that would have as a witch apart from taking cute selfies <laughs> And last but not least, I I clean the edges with my gel pen, give her the shines on the eyes, and and I draw a little bit more stars so the galaxy could end up looking a little bit more full. With that we have come to the end of the video hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one bye